Hey YouTube and happy Saturday. I hope you all are having a great start to your weekend. It's with great pleasure that tonight I'll share with you a tutorial about how to use your Linux computer and InkCut to control a Silhouette Cameo CNC die cutter. By following this tutorial you'll be able to cut vinyl, uh, paper, laminated paper, whatever fabric, whatever material to your heart's content, whatever shape you want. As you can tell, you don't really need a powerful computer or a uh, powerful CAT computer uh, to, to run InkCut. I'm running uh, InkCut, which, just to introduce it again, is a Python Inkscape-based program for controlling CNC die cutters including a silhouette cameo and cutting shapes from a SVG file, a scalable vector graphics file. As I said, you don't need a powerful computer to run this. Why am I showing you this screensaver to prove that point? I am running InCut on a HP T510 thin client that was given to me as part of an e-waste bundle and it runs great. This this T510 thin client has a pretty low power via Eden X2 dual core 1 gigahertz 64 bit Intel compatible CPU and it runs Ubuntu 24.04.1 LTS pretty pretty nicely after adding some custom graphics drivers it's it's running really great again the point is you don't need you know some fancy new workstation to drive your CNC vinyl cutter. And that said, vinyl cutters also don't have to be super expensive. The Cameo that I got, which included pens and a pen holder, the default blade, plus three vinyl mats, cost me a total of $50, I think including shipping. So again, vinyl cutters don't have to be expensive. You you know don't have to take out a loan. You can still afford cat food and cat litter and other stuff, even uh, after getting your your vinyl cutter. Okay, so with that, I'll go ahead and get out of the screensaver, and I'll go ahead and close Ink Cut here. I won't show you how I um, installed it. The process wasn't too complicated. I'm also going to zoom in on the screen so you can see this a little bit better. It's a package available on GitHub. I will post the link in the description. As I mentioned, it is a Python-based Python -based, Inkscape-based utility that will cut SVG uh, graphics onto a material using a compatible CNC die cutter vinyl cutter. Okay, so I'll go ahead and um, make sure that I can open up uh, InkCut from the command line here. Uh, there we go. Uh, my cat is busy playing with some scotch tape, as kitties enjoy. She's the real star of this YouTube channel. I have my Silhouette Cameo that I'll show you in a second, connected via USB, uh, by uh, USB... Oh, what is it? Um, USB parallel port emulation uh, to my uh, thin client, and it's also plugged in and powered on. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so this is the nice um, ink cut uh, GUI here. Uh, this is a preview of the last file I cut, as well as the graphic size, number of copies, rotation, and so on. There's a uh, material panel. I've set the plot margins here to, um, let me zoom in a little further here. To, uh, z to zero inches just because I put the edges of the page up to the edge black lines on the edges of the mat. Uh, the plot area is 12 inches by 12 inches. Uh, the real critical thing here is the plot margins. Uh, weed lines are the um, order in which the cuts are done. They're those blue lines you can see there. Uh, there's padding and spacing that I haven't changed from default. Uh, layers aren't really an issue here, they're the separate pages. They correspond to those separate pages that I upload for each page. As I mentioned in the previous videos, my Cardiac uh, computer, which I'll use for the purposes of this demo, is printed on 20 pound printer paper, laminated with three mil sheets, 
and I find that two successive pass cuts gives me a really nice cut and um, real easy removal of the different components from the laminated page. Okay, so uh, down here there's a uh, console window, a uh, live window, which I'll get to in a moment, uh, jobs, monitor, and control. Really the live, live, uh, Live window is is what I've been using quite a bit just to see the pro trace the progress of the cut. Okay, so let me go ahead and open recent cardiac four lines letter cutting file edged page one. That's the first page of the cardiac computer. When I load it up, the graphic size isn't corresponding to letter size paper, so I have to go through and make this uh, eight and a half by eleven, locking the aspect ratio. You can see that's uh, 93.75 percent of the original. Okay, so I'm going to remove the camera here and show you how I've loaded the uh, laminated paper on the mat and then we'll come back here and take a look at the UI view. Okay, let me just step in front of the oops uh, tripod there um, and show you the Silhouette Cameo. I've I've uh, turned this on. It's connected via USB LP0. Should probably show you that as well. Uh, there we go. Uh, you can see I've already loaded in the uh, first page of the cardiac here. And I can flip this door up. You can see where the blade's located, and you can see that I aligned the um, edge of the mat so it's up to those uh, two little tick marks there. And that's really all you have to do uh, before you start the first cut. I'll come back to this while it's cutting. Uh, hopefully everything uh, goes through real nicely. There's uh, some directions here about uh, what to do with this little blue knob that's useful for releasing the page if something bad happens. I would say I had a lot of issues with my initial cuts, but when I switched to some fresh cutting mats, I guess that had uh, better better adhesive, I got much, much better cuts. So I'd, I'd, I'd recommend that, you know, not to use an extremely heavily used uh, cutting mat uh, for, for, your, for, 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 for your cuts. Otherwise the uh, paper will fly off and cause all sorts of problems. But again, it's a very robust setup. Uh, the way this works is, you know, it goes through the different coordinates and pulls the laminated paper, at, well, the cutting mat back and forth in the X direction and then moves the uh, blade in the Y direction. Maybe I'm, you know, getting the order of those wrong. Maybe, you know, it might make, make more sense for this to be X, the uh, blade movement back and forth, and then Y for the cutting mat, uh, something like that. Uh, but anyway, the, I've gotten the paper in the proper orientation. The uh, bottom left-hand corner of the page needs to be up uh, to the uh, base position of the blade there. There's, you know, also an arrow to help you identify the upper left-hand corner of the cutting mat that corresponds to the lower left-hand corner of the page that you're cutting. Okay, so with that, I'll cover up um, the the cutting cutting area again. I know there's uh, some white-based calibration of locations, so you don't want to. Um, uh, you know, leave that open while you're cutting or while you're turning it on. I, I have noticed, you know, after multiple cuts, it's um, it, not good to let this sit for a while. You want to turn it off and turn it back on uh, to be initialized. Otherwise, you get cuts that are, are very much off. Okay, so hopefully this will go through uh, smoothly. And I'll go ahead and start the cutting process from the um, computer. Our one-stop shop for printing and cutting. Okay. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you is um, for, for the device, if I go set up here, uh, we should see, you know, I set it up as Silhouette Cameo 4, uh, 60, 60 G's is force, which is, I think, a bit more than the default. Uh, you can see that, um, Sorry, I'll zoom in and show you that again. Uh, you can see that it is USB emulation of a printer port, uh, uh, parallel parallel printer port. 
uh, 60 G's there. Move a little bit to your to the left. Uh, protocol is a GPGL default. I not sure something graphics language, maybe general printing graphics language or something. I, I don't know. I'll have to uh, look at that. Um, yeah, and you can see there's a lot of different, much uh, fancier cutters that you can you can control with this. But you know, Silia Silhouette Cameo, I'm using. I think uh, Silhouette Portrait is is a bit smaller version. But um, yeah, I'd stick with Silhouette Cameos because they're inexpensive and they work with Linux. Cry cuts, from what I understand, will probably never work with Linux, so I try and avoid that. Okay, so we're all set for configuration. I might go ahead and go to device, send to device, just confirm that the uh, duration's good, uh, material size is good, uh, job, uh, device, and we'll look at the live view and see the progress of printing there. Okay, so I'll just um, show a few minutes of this and then uh, show you, I said printing, cutting and then see the cutting in action. Oh man, the paper's getting moved back and forth. There's the cut for one of the uh, input, input cards that's included on the first page. And I'll watch the, the cutting process um, in action just to see how well it's going. I can also stop cutting. I can um, pause and remove the sheet if, if something goes terribly wrong. And that is looking really good. So I'll let this continue, make some more progress, and then we can see how the cuts look. But uh, this is a super useful tool to see the progress of the cutting. Um, I showed you a bit of this for the, for the second page in a prior video, but it's, it's really useful you know, in case anything um, happens, and also to you know, have some feedback as I'm looking at the the uh, physical output of the cutting. You know, see if the, the uh, places that I see cut on the screen look just as good on the screen as they do on the physical page. Okay, so we're making a little progress here. Let me wait until it gets to about 40% and then I will head over to the uh, paper. And I'll just let you see those weed lines, those live weed lines in action. Okay, we're at 41%. I'll make good on my promise. I'm going to zoom out here and head over to where the action is happening. Okay, so let's go around the bar and take a look at the live cutting in progress. Okay, so hopefully I'll get that uh, focused a little better. There we go. Yeah, the glare was throwing it off. And um, hopefully you can see the cut around that input card. I've gotten much, much better results uh, since I, I used these new cutting mats. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of trouble there uh, getting it nicely in focus. Just wait until this uh, moves through again. Okay, so, wow, that's not focus. Okay. Jeez. That's always uh, good to see. Oh my gosh. Why is that focusing so poorly? Oh, there we go. Okay, it was just my shadow. There you go. Sorry for that wait. Let's move over here. It's a little bit off, but I don't think so much that's a problem. I've definitely had 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 worse than that. Uh, 
I'll go ahead once this is done and do a second pass and then put the second page on, on a new, new cutting mat. Okay, so let's return to the Y view and just wrap everything up. Okay. There we go. And I think that's pretty much completed. It shows 99% uh, for this page, but um, I think it's actually 100%. There we go. And that, my friends, is how you use InCut to control a silhouette cameo and cut whatever vector graphics you want on whatever material of interest. I hope this was useful to you, and I hope this was a nice behind-the-scenes video about what it takes to make these cardiac laminated paper computers. I do plan to uh, sell copies for $15 each, and I've set up a checkout system on my website, so I'll include that in the description uh, down below. Again, I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you've had a great start to your weekend. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was informative and helpful. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe as always. Have a great one.